Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2020 DECA installation ceremony. My name is Michael Lamberry. On behalf of the other advisors, Lindsay DeLuca, who you see next to me, and our third advisor, Catherine Tortoso, who's at home taking care of her newborn baby, we'd like to uh, thank you for being with us tonight. And uh, first, we'd also like to thank our build, building administration here at the high school, uh, along with the district administration and Board of Ed for their continued support of our DECA program. Um, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do without them, uh, and especially this year during this very uncertain time. So thank you all for your support. Uh, what to expect tonight, you'll be hearing from many of our board members uh, about their roles and their influence on our club. You'll also be hearing a few speeches from our senior board members, and we'll have a very special guest appearance from a 2015 POB graduate, Jenna Knoll. I think it goes without saying that we would definitely prefer to be with you um, in the LGI tonight, but our, regardless, our board members have put together a wonderful program and have worked really hard to perfect this virtual installation, our first ever. Um, and we thank all of you truly for being here tonight with us. Throughout the course of the school year, we are going to maintain our high level of programming. We will be taking part in numerous community service events, as well as educational programs, socially distanced, of course. But we're going to be continuing our tradition of what makes POB DECA so great, the influence we have within the school and within the POB community. It really makes our members stand out from the rest. It's up to you to take part in DECA and to take part in all it has to offer. With your support and with your involvement in all our wonderful activities, we will definitely be able to take POB DECA to the next level. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our Plainview Old Beth Page JFK Chapter President, Ms. Samantha Hezekiel. The Plainview Old Beth Page DECA Chapter will come to order. We are holding a meeting of New York DECA. Welcome to the 2020-2021 Plainview Old Beth Page DECA Virtual Installation Ceremony. Thank you for all watching. I am this year's POB DECA President, Sammy Hezekiel. We will now recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, I would like for the rest of the board to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Daniela Perlman. Hi, my name is Tara Sperry. Hi, my name is Ava Feinberg. And my name is Jenny Shear, and we are the junior board. Our positions were created to assist the executive board members with all of their varied activities. Hi, I am Reese Cuden, the alumni coordinator. It is my duty to establish and maintain a database of alumni members and to further work with these alumni to coordinate events. Hi, my name is Lucia D'Ambrosio, and I'm the fundraising coordinator. It is my duty to direct all fundraising activities of our club. It is also our duty to supervise all money-making activities and keep a record of all DECA volunteers. Hi, my name is Lauren Siriani. And my name is Alexa Cohn, and we are the photographers. It is our duty to keep an accurate photographic record of all DECA events and activities. Hi, I'm Alexis Marcusano. And I am Jessica Pollock. We are the media coordinators. It is our duty to work with our vice president of public relations to oversee media outreach for our chapter's events. Hi, I'm Fiona Wu and I'm the reporter. It is my duty to write news, news articles regarding each of the chapter's events. Hi, I'm Jordan Iwoff. And I'm Ian Moskowitz and we're the recruitment coordinators. It is our duty to oversee all recruitment activities of our chapter. Additionally, we are responsible for submitting our membership information to National DECA. Hi, my name is Gabby Sorge. And my name is Jordana Kunis, and we are the contest coordinators. It is our duty to coordinate role play review sessions to help students prepare for competitions. Hi, I'm Emily Slominski. And I am Hannah Quinton. We're the directors of membership outreach. It is our responsibility to establish a mentorship system between officers and members in our chapter in order to create stronger bonds and a greater understanding within our chapter. My name is Rebecca Horowitz and I'm the secretary. It is my duty to keep accurate records of all meetings as well as to oversee the registration of our chapter's DECA members with National DECA. 
My name is Melanie Zakaria and I'm the Director of Social Media. It is my responsibility to oversee all social media accounts for our chapter and to ensure that our members are being informed of all upcoming POB DECA events. Hi, I'm Rachel Perlmutter, the Director of Member Participation. It is my responsibility to oversee attendance for all DECA members and to develop and maintain the point system used throughout the year. I am also responsible for publicizing this point system to all members. Hi, my name is Kayla Hindi. My name is Bailey Germain, and we are the treasurers. It is our duty to oversee all deposits and withdrawals for DECA-related activities. My name is Lazar Knoll, and I am the Vice President of Finance. It is my duty to oversee the DECA financial account. My name is Riley Nathan, and I am the Vice President of Public Relations. It is my responsibility to make sure that all chapter events are properly promoted in order to successfully reach their specific target market. It is also my responsibility to oversee the creation of the chapter newsletters. Hi, I am Danielle Wicker, the Vice President of, of Events. It is my responsibility to make sure all chapter events are properly organized in order to successfully reach their specific target market. I'm Melissa Israel, the Vice President of Competition. It is my duty to oversee registration for regional, state, and international levels of competition. Additionally, I will work with the contest coordinators to organize role play review sessions. Once again, I'm Sammy Ezekiel, and I'm the president of our chapter. It is my responsibility to oversee all chapter events and competitive components of our chapter. It is my hope that by working with all chapter officers and members, we will be able to see another successful DECA year. I would also like to quickly acknowledge our advisors, Ms. DeLuca, Mrs. Tortoso, and Mr. Amberry, who helped make all of this possible. Now, we will have a few people speak about our DECA chapter. First, I would like to introduce Ms. Jenna Knoll, graduate of the class of 2018, who will be discussing how DECA has helped her on her path to success. Hi everyone. First, I want to congratulate you all on being inducted into DECA. I know how exciting that was and how much of a part DECA played in my high school experience and really getting into college. Um, first, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about me and then I want to share how my DECA experience has helped me really succeed in college so far. Um, so my name is Jenna Knoll. I'm a current junior at the University of Maryland studying supply chain management and information systems, which if you don't know what that is, supply chain is basically how to get something from point A to point B, and information systems is database management. Um, you guys really do not realize how much value you're getting out of your DECA experience right now. When I got to college and started asking people if they were involved in DECA, many people said they didn't even have a business department in their high school, and if they did, a lot of them didn't have DECA or it really wasn't a strong chapter. Um, so a lot of the skills you guys are building up from your sophomore and junior and senior year in DECA is going to put you way far ahead of your peers. Um, just to share a few of those examples, you already have a really strong resume understand the structure of case studies and how to work on that for a long period of time. And you guys have prepared for really tough interviews. Honestly, I think the DECA board interviews were more intimidating than interviews I've had at top firms in the past couple of weeks. So just know that all the like tough experiences you're having now are really going to pay off later. Um, and all the really simple things that you don't think about, like how to perform a SWOT analysis, a lot of people did not know what that meant, but everybody in our DECA chapter already learned that your like, sophomore year. Um, and a lot of things that you're doing in DECA now are going to seamlessly transfer to your college experience. For instance, in DECA, we were fortunate to have really incredible advisors that pushed us and formed really close relationships with all of their students. Those relationships are going to help you feel more comfortable getting closer to your professors, being able to ask them for help when you need it, um, and look for their advice because you're already comfortable doing that in high school and so that's just going to transfer right over to college and set you way ahead of your peers and could open opportunities down the line. Um, and then another main thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the, uh, the, your network that you're building in DECA. Network is a word you're going to hear all the time in college um, and it's so so important to help you open doors down the line. 
in DECA, you're with about 150 students every year, and every year that changes because some graduate and you get new members. While you may not know every single DECA member, you'll recognize their face, you'll kind of know who they are, and later down the line, they might end up like you guys connecting. Right now on LinkedIn, everybody that I was in with DECA is all connected and we're all seeing each other get really awesome internships or excel in some of our classes. Um, on LinkedIn, I've seen people get internships that were in DECA at the big four accounting firms at EY, PwC, Deloitte, KPMG, some really awesome consumer product companies like Pepsi, Procter & Gamble, Hershey, Amazon, and a lot of these connections can come from someone that you knew in DECA. So if you knew someone at DECA that had an internship at Amazon and you really want to work there, you get to reach out to them. You already have that established connection going years back and can ask them for advice or connect you to a recruiter. Um, really simple things that you don't realize how much value they're going to have later on um, is super impactful. And DECA's network goes beyond just our chapter. On campus, I'm president of the Timmy Group at Maryland, a consulting and investing organization. And just a couple weeks ago, we were having interviews for new members. And one interview candidate I had um, started talking to me about her DECA experience. And she wasn't from Plainview, she was from Maryland, but being able to connect with her and understand right off the bat what it meant for a role play versus a manual, um, and getting where she was coming from with all of the fundraising efforts that she did in high school and knowing how much work went into that went a whole other mile because that immediate connection like went beyond any other connections that I had with any other candidates right off the bat. And if you guys are wondering if she got accepted, yes, she did. Um, and it goes to show that DECA really is a huge network all across the globe. Um, and that if you use it strategically, will help you get really far on um, potentially down the line. So I know you guys are experiencing DECA in a virtual environment now, but definitely take advantage of any opportunities you get in leadership, in your project, forming relationships with your advisor, and all of the assignments that you're going to be completing in your classes because it's going to make a difference. Um, and I can confidently say that DECA has set me up for a really successful career, um, now having interviews at really awesome companies that I started learning about back in high school. Um, it's so awesome, and I look forward to seeing all of you guys succeed, and I wish you good luck in the rest of the year. Bye. Now I would like to introduce Riley Nathan, who will discuss our accomplishments from last year. During the 2019-2020 school year, POB DECA raised over $10,000 inclusive of monetary and in-kind donations for various charities including the Ronald McDonald House of Long Island, Stacey's Warriors, John Thiessen Foundation, and the Michael Sacco Memorial Scholarship. Additionally, 108 students qualified for the New York State DECA competition in Rochester, New York, and 53 students qualified for the International DECA competition in Nashville, Tennessee. Next, I would like to introduce Danielle Wicker to discuss upcoming DECA events. We are very excited for the upcoming year and we hope many of you will get involved with some of the amazing events. This year is going to look a little different being that most of our events are in the virtual realm, but it is still going to be a great and innovative one. These events include our annual Dingo Night Virtually, dining events such as the Plainview Diner and the main event, a DECA virtual scavenger hunt and trivia night, apparel sales for DECA, as well as partnerships with charities such as Stacy's Warriors, Williams Warriors, and The Little Shelter. These are just some of the initiatives and partnerships set up for the school year. To find out more information about these events, make sure you are signed up for the POB DECA emails. If you have not completed one of these tasks, please, stay, please speak to one of your DECA advisors. I know I speak on behalf of the whole board when I say that we hope that all of the students will find way, more ways to get involved in DECA in order to meet new people and participate in some amazing events. Next, I would like to introduce Melissa Israel, who's going to talk about the importance of competition. POB DECA takes part in a ton of wonderful chapter and community service events. However, we also are forced to be reckoned with on the, comp on the competitive front. 
Throughout the course of the school year, our members have the chance to compete at the regional, state, and international levels of competition. Additionally, National DECA offers numerous virtual competitions that members can participate in also. Our marketing two and three students get the chance to participate in competitions that revolve around the creation of business research proposals and presentations, while our marketing one students, as well as those not enrolled in marketing two and three, participate in case study analysis and presentations. We will be hosting numerous workshops via Google Meet to help prepare those who are participating in the case study competition in order to help them reach the next level. I highly encourage you to attend these workshops run by our senior officers and advisors who have the experience and will help you develop strategies for success. While competitions may be occurring virtually this year, there is no doubt in my mind that POB will once again meet with high levels of success. Lastly, I would like to introduce Lazar Knoll, who will talk about what DECA means to him. Whatever you put into DECA, you get out of it. At the start of my DECA journey, I thought this meant winning competitions. My sophomore year, I studied hard to win role plays. I did just that. However, my outlook on this message changed during my junior year. By working with two creative, intelligent, and charismatic teammates, I learned that DECA was more than a competition. It was about networking and growing as an individual. Not only have I learned so much business knowledge, but my time management, compromise, and creative skills have been strengthened because of DECA. I urge the incoming DECA members to go to as many events as you can, especially chapter events. That's where you create special relationships with your advisors and peers. I want to congratulate every member who is being inducted today. Now that you are officially in DECA, think about what your next step is. Will you go to chapter events? Maybe try to get a board position? The choice is yours. I'm excited to see what the next group of DECA members can accomplish. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. The purpose of our meeting is to receive into our organization 151 new members. Have the candidates met the conditions for membership for our DECA chapter? We are happy to report that all candidates have met the conditions for membership for our chapter. You are about to take an important step. Your qualifications have been examined and you have been recommended for membership into our organization. Our officers will now explain the purpose of DECA. DECA exists because of the dedication of all of its members to its purposes. These purposes are threefold. First, DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs for careers in marketing, finance, hospitality and management in high schools and colleges around the globe. In fact, there are over 185,000 high school members that hail from all 50 states, the District of Columbia, Canada, China, Germany, Guam, Hong Kong, Korea, Mexico, and Puerto Rico. Two, DECA enhances the co-curricular education of members through a comprehensive learning program that integrates into classroom instruction, applies learning, connects to business, and promotes competition. Three, DECA's activities assist in the development of academically prepared, community-oriented, professionally responsible, experienced leaders. These purposes determine the character of our chapter activities. Through these activities, social, professional, and civic, we further develop the sense of friendship and unity, which permits us to help and encourage one another in pursuit of our common ideals. In view of this statement of the purposes of DECA, we assume that you will accept the responsibilities and obligations of membership in this organization. The basic design of our insignia is the diamond. The four points of the diamond stand for social responsibility, leadership development, vocational understanding, and civic consciousness, all important attributes which DECA members will realize throughout their DECA career. You have heard the explanation of our insignia. As members of DECA, you are expected to support the activities of this organization, to carry out the duties assigned to you, and by diligent attention to your work, learn the skills necessary to qualify as a leader. I would now like to congratulate the members of DECA being installed. Congratulations to all the first year members. Congratulations to all of the second year members. Congratulations to all the third year members.
Do we have any further business which must be transacted at this meeting? I have none. I now declare this 2020 installation of Plainview Old Beth Page DECA over. Thank you and have a great day.